In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we offer together this Holy Mass as we celebrate the first Friday of the month of August. The month of August is filled with many festivities. We just celebrated the feast day in honor of Saint John Vianney. And towards the end of August, we'll be celebrating the feasts in honor of our Augustinian saints, Saint Monica and Saint Augustine. But also today, the first Friday, we celebrate the great feast of the transfiguration of our Lord. Let us offer all our intentions in this Mass, particularly for the health, for the protection of all the ADTEL officers and employees. Let us continue to pray for the healing of all and uh, we pray with so much confidence that what we are undergoing this pandemic times will end. Let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for peace and pardon. You were sent to the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirm the mysteries of faith 
by the witness of the fathers in wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship. Grant, we pray, to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As Daniel watched, thrones were set up and the ancient one took his throne. His clothing was snow bright and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flame of fire with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands and thousands were ministering to him and myriads upon myriads attended to him. The court was convened and the books were opened as the vision during the night continued. I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, he received dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and people of every language served him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all people see his glory. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. Because you, O Lord, are the most high over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. The Lord is King, the most high over all the earth. A reading from the second letter of Peter. It was not by way of cleverly concocted meats that we taught you about the coming in power of our Lord Jesus Christ. For we were eyewitnesses of his sovereign majesty. He received glory and praise from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him out of the majestic splendor. This is my beloved son on whom my favor rests. We ourselves heard this from heaven while we were in his company on the holy mountain. Besides, we possess the prophetic message of something altogether reliable. Keep your attention closely fixed on it, as you would on a lamp shining in a dark place until the first streak of dawn appeared and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up on a high mountain by themselves. He was transfigured before their eyes. His face became as dazzling as the sun, his clothes as radiant 
as light. Suddenly Moses and Elijah appeared to them conversing with him. Upon this, Peter said to Jesus, Lord, how good it is for us to be here. With your permission, I will erect three boots here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when suddenly a bright cloud overshadowed them. Out of the cloud came a voice which said, This is my beloved Son on whom my favor rests. Listen to him. When they heard this, the disciples fell forward on the ground overcome with fear. Jesus came toward them and laying his hand on them said, Get up. Do not be afraid. When they looked up, they did not see anyone but Jesus. As they were coming down the mountainside, Jesus commanded them, Do not tell anyone of the vision until the Son of Man rises from the dead. Brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Before we go to our short reflection, we'd like to greet Atel Company and all your employees and continue to pray with you for healing and for good health and for uh, prosperity in your work every day in your life. As I've mentioned at the start of our Mass, we are in the month of August, and uh, this month is, according to the calendar of the Church, filled with many religious festivities. In fact, Feast of the Saints, like St. John Vianney, St. Alphonsus Ligori, and then we also have the Augustinian saints, St. Monica and St. Augustine. In short, this month is really an appropriate month to realize that we are called towards a life of holiness. Kagaya sa ating mga santo, mga banal, Pinalalahanan po tayo sa buwan ng Agosto sa panawagan, panyaya ni Jesus ang ating Panginoon upang tumugon tayo tungo sa kabanalan sa ating buhay. Going to our feast this first Friday, which is the transfiguration of our Lord. First, we have to remember that once in the history, it happened in Israel. That time when our Lord Jesus brought His disciples, Peter, James, and John, they were so fortunate. Others were left somewhere. But Jesus decided to bring his three disciples up on the mountain where in front of them our Lord was transfigured. His face looked different. That's why Peter on that occasion was so overwhelmed. Gulat na gulat. Tuwang-tuwa ang Pangulo sa mga 
apostoles, alagad ng ating Panginoon. At dahil sa kanyang tuwa, nasabi niya, Lord, with your permission, let's have three tents on top of this mountain. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Brothers and sisters, this occasion also wants to tell us that in our life, from time to time, and many times, our Lord also bring, brings us up on top of the mountain. Ito yung mga pagkakataon na pwede nating tingnan sa ating buhay. Yung mga araw, yung mga pagkakataon na tayo ay nasa taas ng tagumpay. Alam po natin na ako, kayo, lahat tayo, nagkakaroon din naman ng mga tagumpay sa buhay. Gaya ni Pedro, Juan Santiago, yun po yung unang kanilang na-realize. Apakaswerte. Dahil nagkaroon sila ng tagumpay mula sa Panginoon at galing sa Panginoon. Kasi magtatanong ka, nasaan yung ibang mga alagad? Bakit hindi yung tinatawag nating 12 apostles? Some people imagine na baka mayroon sila mga other concerns sa buhay. Baka may pinagkakaabalahan na iba. Kaya nung tinawag ni Jesus ang mga apostoles para isama sila, ay yung iba, hindi nila mahagilap. Kaya si Pedro Juan Santiago, swerteng swerte na na-experience nila yung sabihin nating himala na nangyari doon sa bundok na yon. You know friends, if you go to Israel for a pilgrimage to the Holy Land, isa sa mga stopovers eh, itong Mount Tabor yung tinatawag traditionally na the place where Jesus was transfigured. The first time I saw this place was really a very emotional moment because going back to the time our Lord was transfigured, talagang hindi mo uh, ma-expect o akalain na marating mo yung lugar na yon kung saan may bato kung saan may chapel doon sa pinaka mataas na bundok brothers and sisters we are called towards this transfiguration moment of our Lord today it happened once historically but don't forget that it happens always in every Holy Eucharist. Sa banal na misa, kung kailan tinataas ng pari ang tinapay na maging banal na katawan at ang bino na maging banal na dugo sa altar, kung anong nangyayari historically sa Israel, ay nangyayari sacramentally dito sa altar. Kaya pwede nating sabihin na hanggang ngayon sa banal na pagdariwang swerting swerte para sa atin tagumpay dahil sama-sama nating na nakita at na-experience ang mismong transfiguration ng ating Panginoong Jesus. Sa teolohiya, ang tawag niyan transubstantiation. From one form, from one substance, now it becomes the real body and blood of Christ. So let's thank God 
when that happened once upon a time before Peter, James, and John. But let's always thank the Lord for giving us this chance to witness our Lord's transfiguration every time we celebrate the Holy Mass. See, there are two senses involved. The sense of sight, the vision, but also the sense of hearing. Peter said, Lord, let's have three boots here. But our Lord was not very happy about that. You know, we should not dwell merely on the visuals because they can be very passing. Ang sinabi ng ating Panginoon, makinig tayo sa boses mula sa Diyos, Ama. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Kadalasan po, doon lang tayo sa kung anong nakikita natin at hindi natin pinahalagahan yung ating pagkikinig sa salita ng Diyos. Baka mamaya eh, tingin lang tingin tayo sa mukha ni Jesus, pero lumalampas sa buhay natin kung ano yung kanyang salita, ang kanyang mabuting balita para sa atin. Kadalasan, ganun po eh. Mas mabilis yung sense of sight Pero yung ating sense of hearing, kulang na kulang. Let this be our message this first Friday, this Feast of Transfiguration. Let's go back to a very essential uh, mission we have as Christians, which is to listen to God, to listen to Jesus, to listen always to His Word. Dapat babalik tayo sa Kanyang salita. Dahil doon sa salita ng ating Panginoon, doon ang ating kaligtasan. Kung ano-ano lang nakikita natin dyan, baka mamaya panandalian lang po yan. Nasa labas po yan. Pero dapat manatili sa ating puso. Araw-araw ang salita ng Diyos. Yun po yung paalaala sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon. Ang sabi ng Ama, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to Him. Sa panahon natin ngayon, nalilito tayo kung sino yung dapat pakinggan natin eh. Kung sino yung binibigyan natin ng, ng uh, kahalagahan dahil nagsasalita. Huwag po natin kalimutan Mas mahalaga sa salita ng tao ang salita ng Panginoon. Kaya po sana, more listening tayo. In silence, let us listen. You know, beautiful words. Silence, listen. If there is no silence, there is no listening. Kaya kailangan silent silent para we can listen finally let us realize once again that before good things happen in outside first good things happen inside bago po sa labas dapat sa ating puso sa ating kalooban Kaya po, nasa Ebanghelyo natin ngayon, after that transfiguration, when they were going down from the mountain, Jesus had one instruction. May sinasabi ang ating Panginoon. Do not say anything about this to others. Palagay ko ang ibig sabihin nun, huwag niyong ikalat sa labas. Pag nilay-nilayan ang nangyayari sa iyong kalooban. Bago ang labas, dapat sa loob. Before good things happen outside, 
good things happen first inside. Happy First Friday po. Happy Transfiguration sa ating lahat. Let us pray fervently to our Father in Heaven that He may pour abundantly the Spirit of His Son upon the Church and upon His children. Let our response be, Remain with us, Lord. Remain with us, Lord. That the Spirit of love unite in peace, mutual respect, brotherly concern, fraternal sharing of possessions and talents, all the nations of the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Remain, Remain with, us, with us, Lord. That the spirit of understanding enlighten and strengthen all priests, religious and lay missionaries to open the speak of Christ to the hearts and minds of all men and women. Let us pray to the Lord. Remain, Remain with, with us, us, Lord. For all Christians, that the spirit of courage and fortitude may lead them out to their neighbors in sincere interest and concern for their needs. In thoughtfulness and charity, let us pray to the Lord. Remain, Remain with, us, with us, Lord. That the spirit of consolation alleviate the pains undergone by the missionaries in, ter in territories devastated by war, in famine-stricken stri countries, epidemic-infested lands, and in these Christianized sectors, let us pray to the Lord. Remain, Remain with, with us, Lord. Lord. That the spirit of knowledge enlighten all Christians to be more directly involved in the mission, let us pray to the Lord. Remain with Remain us, us, Lord. In silence, let us pray for our other intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Remain with us, Lord. For our Adtel company and all employees, May we continue to cling on to God, trust in His love and protection amidst these challenging times, and continue to spread the good news of salvation to everyone. Let us pray to the Lord. Remain, Remain with, with us, us, Lord. O God, by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us the gift of a strong conviction that we all are called to help in the missionary activity of the church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and the glory of His name, for the good and all the good of all His holy church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by His radiant splendor cleanse us from the stains of sin. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For He revealed His glory in the presence of chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form, which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples, and that he might show how in the body 
of the whole church is to be fulfilled. What so wonderfully shone forth first in its head. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana, o Sana in, the in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. All you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, gracefully make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended through the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We now proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, the glorious martyrs, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To all our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the, wish, the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With so much gratitude and confidence in our hearts, we now pray this beautiful prayer our Lord taught us.
Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now give each other a sign of peace. Lamb of, God, Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Friends, brothers, and sisters, this is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who once transfigured before Peter, James, and John on the mountain and constantly is transfigured before us in the Holy Eucharist. Happy are those who are not called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. To all the company and employees, thank you for attending our first Friday Mass that coincides with the Feast of the Transfiguration of our Lord. 
from our side, this online mass recorded uh, is realized because of our strong team, social communications here in our Paris, Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage. And this SOCOM is headed by Ryan Tullio, who happens to work at uh, the office of the Malacanang TV Network. Kaya nagpapasalamat po tayo kay Ryan. At kasama niya si Romulus at saka si Kylo. nag apply pa yata ito ng trabaho kasi mga bata pa ito. At yung ating choir na magaganda yung mga songs dito uh, headed by Nino Salenga, uh, head of the worship committee uh, with Miss Russell Alejandro na nagpe-perform sa Barbaras Intramuros. Pero ngayon, walang performance sa Extramuros na lang. And of course, here with us helping is our sacristan mayor si kuya willie thank you for attending our mass and let's uh, remember before good things can happen outside first good things must happen inside the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your families. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is offered. Let's go in peace. Thanks be to God. Mahabagin at mapagmahal na Ama, nagsusumamo kami sa iyo upang hilingin ang iyong patnubay laban sa COVID-19 na nagpapahirap sa marami at kumitil na ng maraming buhay. Tungayan mo kami ng may pagmamahal at ipagadya kami ng iyong mapaghilom na kamay mula sa takot sa karamdaman at kamatayan. Itaguyod mo kami sa pag-asa at patatagin sa pananampalataya. Gabayan mo ang mga dalubhasang naatasan na tumuklas ng mga lunas at paraan upang ihinto ang paglaganap nito. Nagpapasalamat kami sa mga bakunang naisulong sa patnubay ng iyong mga kamay. Pagpalain mo ang aming mga pagsisikap na mawakasan ng mga bakuna ang pandemya sa aming bayan. At nubayan mo ang mga lumilingap sa may sakit upang ang kanilang pagkalinga ay malaki pa ng husay at malasakit. Pagkalooban mo sila ng kadusugan sa isip at katawan, katatagan sa kanilang paninindigang maglingkod at ipagsanggalang sa karamdaman. 
Itinataas namin ang mga nagdurusa. Makamtan nawa nila ang mabuting kalusugan. Lingapin mo rin ang mga kumakalinga sa kanila. Pagkamitin mo ng kapayapaang walang hanggan ang mga pumanaw na. Pagkalauban mo kami ng biyaya na magtulong-tulong tungo sa ikabubuti ng lahat. Pukawin sa amin ang pagmamalasakit sa mga nangangailangan sa pagdamay at malasakit namin sa bawat isa. Malampasan nawa namin ang krisis na ito at lumago sa kabanalan at pagbabalik loob sa iyo. Inihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Yesu Kristo na nabubuhay at nagaharing kasama mo at ng Espiritu Santo, iisang Diyos, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Tumudulog kami sa iyong patnubay, mahal na ina ng Diyos. Pakinggan mo ang aming makahilingan sa aming pangangailangan at ipagadya mo kami sa lahat ng kasamaan, maluwalhati at pinagpalang birhen. Amen. Mahal na birhen, mapagpagaling sa may sakit, ipanalangin mo kami. Sa Jose, ipanalangin mo kami. San Rafael Arcangel, ipanalangin mo kami. San Roque, ipanalangin mo kami. San Lorenzo Ruiz, ipanalangin mo kami. San Pedro Calungsod, ipanalangin mo kami.